2015. For Porsche, 2015 was the fifth record year in a row. This is reflected, for example, in our deliveries to customers. We delivered more than 225,000 cars to customers, including more than 80,000 Macans. In addition to that, the legend of the 911 continues unabated. We delivered 32,000 911s to customers. And all of this, of course, was only possible with our highly motivated and very well qualified team at Porsche. And I'd like to thank the entire workforce for this. If you look at the number of people working for Porsche, we now have 24,500 workers and employees. Last year alone, we hired 2,000 new people, and we think that this is a very important contribution to securing jobs in Germany and adding new jobs. Our sales success was of course also reflected in our financial indicators. We were able to increase sales by 25% to 21.5 billion euros, which is an all-time record. We were also able to improve operating earnings by 25% to 3.4 billion euros. This means we are still the world's most successful car manufacturer. Our target return of more than 15% was achieved yet again. We have now achieved 16% and this is testament to the fantastic team performance of 2015. And of course, this is also of course thanks to our fixed cost structure, which is as healthy as ever. The new year, 2016, began particularly well for us at Porsche. Our success is definitely based on the fact that we've launched new products. This includes the second generation of the new 911. In Geneva, we unveiled the new 718 Boxster that has been given an outstanding reception by customers. This is a car on which we've done right-sizing, as we call it. We've gone from a six-cylinder to a four-cylinder engine. It's a much more agile car now. And we believe that our entire product lineup, which is the best in the history of Porsche, gives us good reason to look forward to a good fiscal year. This year, we will also be focusing on electric mobility. We're successful already with our plug-in hybrids. And now we're going to be setting the course for our first fully electric vehicle, the Mission E, which was unveiled last year in Frankfurt. And that means that we've got quite a bit to do this year, but we can definitely build on the success we had in 2015. The production costs for a plug-in vehicle are more than 10,000 euros higher than they are for a identical vehicle with a combustion engine, and the higher costs cannot currently be recouped on the market. You cannot pass on these higher costs to clients in the form of higher prices, but there is no alternative. We have to invest in electric mobility. Next in line is the sports car, the 911, and after this, of course, we will have the fully electric drive Mission E, so our customers have a lot to look forward to, we've got a lot in the pipeline. We will also be incurring high costs for digitization. We're investing in the digitization of our products and services, we're investing in the interaction with our clients, but also in our company processes. Today we believe that in 2016 we will see a slight increase in sales and that operating earnings will come in at the prior year level. And this means that our target return of 15% will be achieved in 2016 too. Now we've reached a point in time at which we're setting the course for the future. This means that we're now making decisions that will lead to products which will be a success in 10 years time. But it's also about technologies, for instance, electric mobility, which plays a major role for us. With our strategy 2025, we're focusing on thrilling our customers, achieving a high profitability and securing jobs.